most of the time when people see my photos, they know that this is the style. This is what they're gonna get, a bit more like colorful and uh, full of life photos. I'm not uh, gonna give them any logo photos from this place. This place is wow, and that's what I feel from inside, and that's what I wanna give them, this wow feeling of this amazing uh, place. originally from Israel, I'm from Tel Aviv. Uh, I studied in the Art Academy in Jerusalem. I already started then to take photos to uh, uh, weddings and uh, also for newspapers as a sport photographer in the Jerusalem Post. I landed in the night and I came with the skinny jeans with my dog. I was running for the airplane to the terminal like crazy. It was so cold, just this 50 meter. That was first shock. Then we drove here. It was snow on the trees and then like I felt like I'm in a fairy tale. Then to realize that I'm gonna live here for like a few months every winter. That was like the best thing that happened to my uh, photography career. I love this place. I don't only like this place, I love this place. And I feel like, okay, I'm gonna bring all the colors and uh, energy from Tel Aviv to this a bit like a small village in the end of nowhere. Not only a wedding photographer, I, I see myself also a little bit like as a friend. They are going next to them and uh, helping them in this a bit stressy day. Yeah, be yourself and uh, find all your best work. <laughs> I know. I, I... So for me it's really important to go not only around the ice hotel and not only romantic photos. It's also very important to get this like fairy tale photos and I try as much as I can to fulfill those wishes. And so it's important for me to choose different locations and give them the variety, either it's with reindeers or with the dog sled or on the old houses of the, the village that they get the old vibe of the place or taking their photos under the northern lights or this amazing scenery here. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> Yeah. I first of all think how it looks without the couple and that uh, this is an artistic frame. And then I'm putting the couple inside the frame and I uh, hope that something will happen between the couple. When it, the magic happened, then you get amazing scenery with amazing things that happened. So that, that's a perfect shot for me. It can be from Ice Hotel, it can be from the Israeli desert, or it can be from a wedding in Colombia, it doesn't matter. To know that there is some gift that I can give to the world, to people, to make them happy, and uh, to make them scream when they see the photo. That's uh, one of the things that I'm really driven by. The idea of ice hotel that it's like changing every year. It's such a playground for like creativity and creative people. And for me, this is my biggest wish that no one is putting limits and that people appreciate what I'm doing and I have company that same uh, mind like me. If 
few years ago in New Year's Eve. We went a few friends to the peak in Poimenen. We were planning to do this traditional uh, corv and uh, vam chocolate. But then someone took our place, that we always have this view to the village of Yucca Servi. Then we realized that it's a wedding. And I'm like, hmm, okay. So I ended up in amazing Sami wedding with all the traditional outfit, with the best view of all Yucca Servi. It was just amazing photos. And they were the photos that they will print and put it above the piano. And um, yeah, this is the, the biggest gift that I can give to them. It will live forever. It's a crazy place, it's not ordinary, and I, I like this craziness. Creativity is a, an ongoing, uh, I would say, uh, journey. It's playing there a little bit. And if you don't have the passion, I don't think you can be creative and you won't create.